this is Kelly here. I'm just making sure my speakers are turned on. Um, so this is just a very quick tutorial on how to create your own QR codes. So QR codes stand for quick response. And you can see um, over on the screen uh, over here, um, you know, this is an example of a QR code. To actually read the QR code, you can download a free QR reader um, from the app store or from the android store you know whatever type of phone that you have and then all you need to do is scan that code and it actually takes you uh, to a website or a video or it takes you to text um, so you can use it for things like um, having a treasure hunt um, around the gardens and they get to the next clue and they have to scan it and and work out the answer and then they move on to the to the next clue so for example, I'm gonna show you how to actually create um, different QR codes. So if you wanted a QR code for a YouTube video, so this one here, water movement through, through a root. So what you need to do is you just need to copy the address there, if you come back to the QR generator. And you can see here down the side that there's lots of different data types. So this is a YouTube video and so all we need to do here is we just control B, which is um, paste, and we paste that link into there. And you can see over here how this QR code has changed. If we scan that QR code, it will actually take us to that YouTube video. So then all you need to do is you just download the QR code. Um, let's, we'll just open it. So it will download and then you can place that QR code into a document um, just by co copying and pasting it um, and you can laminate them you know things like that so say for example you this is a um, botanical information about plants if you wanted students to go to a particular page um, on this website or if you just wanted them to access the website same thing you just copy the link back to your QR generator now this is a website URL so and all we do is we paste the link in there and as you can see over here the QR um, code changes and now if we scan that code with the QR code reader you can see it will actually take you to that uh, URL uh, you can get really tricky um, and change the color of the QR code if you would like to so red it's up to you. Uh, the other really good things in here are here where it says plain text. So what you can do, you can copy and paste something that you've already written into Word. Um, hi there, this is Kelly. So if I, and you can see here that the QR code's changed. So with that text there, when somebody scans that code, it actually just comes up with that text. The other thing that you can do, which is really good, is you can link it to your Dropbox. So here, Dropbox is a cloud uh, where you can store all your data, you know, offline basically, and then you can access it with lots of different um, devices and it's free. So you need to register um, and if you're you know, if you want to link your files that you have in there, so you might have um, quizzes or something set up in there, you can actually cut and paste, same thing, the link um, in there and generate the QR code. So um, that's that's it. That's um, different types of, of how you generate QR codes, uh, which you can place around and um, generate, you know, different content. Okay. Thank you.